everybody, it's Premier Gal here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a basic keyframed opacity transition in Premiere Pro. One of my Twitter followers asked me how to do this, so I'm going to show you how to make this transition. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, so I'm inside of Premiere Pro here, and I have these two 4K clips, one of this butterfly, and one of these parrots here in my sequence, okay? And right now, if I play this back, it's just a hard cut. They literally just transition directly into one another. There's no sort of dissolve or anything. So I'm gonna show you how to create a custom transition using the opacity in motion keyframes, okay? Um, so to overlap these clips, I'm going to drag this first clip up on the second layer here on the video layer two and I'm going to drag the second clip underneath, okay? So what I want to do is I want the opacity here on the first clip to go down so we can start to see the clip beneath it, okay? So first select this clip, go up to the effects, and here is where you can set a keyframe on the opacity, right? So you're gonna hit the keyframe button here, add keyframe, and then as you drag it along here until it hits the edge of the end of this first clip, you want it to be at zero. Let's go ahead and set that to zero. And now you will see that this slowly fades out, right? If you wanted to make this longer or bigger, you know, you can always extend this clip out if there's more video and drag this keyframe farther along so it's a longer transition and you can see that it just will take longer to slowly fade out. So I hope that you guys found this useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. If you have any tutorial requests, go to premiergal.com slash tutorials and make your request there. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Samir Gal here and today I'm going to be showing you the difference between set to frame size and scale to frame size in Adobe.